Hey guys, Luke Jackson with Iron Trail Trapline Supply. Um, lately been getting a lot of questions regarding um, how to dye and wax canine traps that were used the year before and already had wax on. So here's a um, Bridger number three Douglas I used last year. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. Um, you know, scratched up, had catches, got a little more rusty, stuff like that. So how do we prep that? for this upcoming season. Well, first thing we want to do is we want to get the old wax off and we're going to do that right now. We have a pot of water just starting to simmer here. So we're going to get the old wax off and then we are going to um, re-dye it and then re-wax it. So once the water finishes heating up here, I will show you that and then we'll move on to the dyeing process. Okay, as you can see, the water is heated up, um, just starting to almost boil. So we're just going to dip the traps from last year in there Hopefully they all fit. There we go. And we are just going to um, let it simmer and then um, heat up or whatever as the traps will cool it down when they go in. And that wax should start, you know, float on the water. So as the wax melts off the traps, it will float to the surface. So once it starts getting to the surface, um, we will, um, take it off the surface and pull the traps out. Okay, hopefully you can see I let it uh, boil a while, so hopefully you can see that the wax has risen to the top. You can see the film on it. I'm letting it cool down, um, you know, so it's not bubbling anymore pretty much. And I'm just gonna go around and, oops, and scoop all the wax off the top. You know, if you let it, if you let it cool a little more, um, kind of solidifies, so it's a little bit easier. But I'll do that until it is all clear. And as you can tell in my little metal bucket, um, the wax is sticking to the bucket. So once we get this done, I'll pull them out, and then we'll be ready to uh, put them in the dye pot. Okay, so now we uh, have a fresh pot of water. Um, and we just about have it heated, starting to bubble a little bit, getting close to a boil. So um, we are gonna put our logwood dye in. So one pound of logwood dye um, does like six gallons of water. So, but this is a pretty small pot. Probably have four gallons of water in there. So um, I'm gonna use like two thirds of it and then we'll stir it up. And for dyeing, it does not have to be exact by any means. So we'll get her stirred up a bit here, get her boiling, and uh, then we'll dump some traps in. It says, you know, it's, this package is a little odd. It says, uh, it says that one package will dye one to two dozen large traps or two to three dozen smaller traps. I don't really believe that. You know, I have, uh, I have whatever, 10, 12 dozen to do here. And um, I doubt I'll even have to open up a second pack. Granted, you know, some of them have, you know, a lot, most of them have been dyed before. These are all last year's traps. So I suppose they won't take as much. And then, you know, some people leave, it, leave them, you know, the traps in the dye for a long time. I maybe do 20 minutes. I'm not. I'm not overly worried about it. The canine traps, um, they get covered up in dirt anyhow. So I'm mostly dying and well, you know, dying them will protect them from rusting and stuff. So um, canine traps, they get covered up in the water traps. You know, some people want these traps to be jet black, but you know, a jet black trap um, really sticks out on a creek bottom unless you're in pure mud. But if you have sand and stuff, it sticks sticks out. So I like to have it just. You know, it doesn't need to be 100% super dark. It can just be kind of a, almost a camouflage color and stuff. So I'll let this heat up a little bit more and then uh, we'll drop some traps in. Okay, so it's at a nice, kind of a nice simmer right now. So we're just gonna drop our traps in that we've boiled the uh, wax off of and pressure washed. And um, we'll just let it sit in there and simmer for a while and uh, we'll see what it looks like when they're 
when they're done, I'll pull them out and show you guys. But um, some of them, you know, when I have new predator traps, I'll just um, degrease them and wax them right out of, right, you know, without even rusting them and dyeing them. And I've never seen any ill effects. So some of these are a little shiny that were new last year. Um, so I'm not sure if they'll be, how much of the dye they'll take. Normally want a slight coat of rust um, before you can dye them. So we'll check them out. Okay guys, um, it's probably been uh, in the dye pot, pot for 20 minutes. So we're gonna pull it out and see what it looks like. There. As you can see, um, it's pretty nice and uniform color. So we're gonna hang it up, um, let them dry, keep dyeing other ones, and fire up the wax pot. <clears throat> okay, so once our pot of wax is fully melted, we will um, submerge the trap all the way. And once you submerge it, um, the wax will solidify on the trap. So you have to wait a little bit um, until the trap heats up to be roughly the same um, temp as the wax is. So the main reason um, we're gonna be waxing traps is um, for speed, um, scent control, and to protect them from rusting. You can find everything we use. So we use the logwood dye and um, just the wax you can find on irontrailtrapline.com. And we will um, put a link there. But yeah, we don't want our wax too hot. We just want to keep it just liquid. See, like now it's getting a little hot. We just want to keep it liquid because we do not want to burn, we do not want to burn the wax. Um, and we also want to be careful not to start a fire. So right there, it's done. Um, it's ready to go out on the line, catch some coyotes. Now this is an offset jaw, so I didn't put anything between the jaws, but if you um, have a closed jaw trap, you're just gonna wanna put a little nail or whatever so you can um, dye and wax the jaw face. So there you go, there is a, uh, there's a trap ready for the coyote line. Um, you know, once it's been boiled and dyed, you're, not, you're gonna wanna use gloves while handling them, clean gloves just to keep them scent free and then hang them up and they are good to go. Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you have any questions about the process, um, whether it's new traps, used traps, dyeing, waxing, full metal jacket, anything like that, um, just leave it in the comment section. Let us know how you do it. We'd love for you to hit the like button, subscribe so you can see uh, more content. And uh, yeah, feel free to give us a call anytime. Um, or visit the website and we'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching.